Hey guys, this is Jane RS Motor Repair and Lawn Care here, and today we're going to do this review of this Troy Built 21 horsepower or 21 inch 550EX series Briggs and Sat Stratton 140cc, so roughly like four and a half, five horsepower. Um, I got this for 20 bucks from my buddy. Uh, what I did to it, it needed the, the crankshaft to be bent back in, be straight, and other than that, it's really good a little bit of surface rust but you know that's what happens when you leave it outside but you know it cleaned up real nice um just, just put some oil in it gas in it it's good to go probably get a good 110 out of it maybe 120 i'll list it for 120 and see what i get but um the wheel adjusters are one on both sides they control both they control both the wheels have them moved up, ready to go. Fresh blade in it, freshly sharpened. Um, but yeah, no, it starts really good. Um, try to get you situated so you can see it. Um, we'll start it up here real quick. It's an overhead valve engine, which seems to be a common thing nowadays. Within one to two pulls, it starts up real nice. But you know, it's got that overhead valve, good air fi filter, everything seems to be good. Um, I'm looking at, like I said, I'm between 120 and 110, 100 being my lowest offer because it's in great shape. Like you could tell, I cleaned it up nice. Like, it's nice and shiny and stuff. So, figured I'd show you that, and as well. It's just Toro LX500, my twin cylinder mower. It's got some issues I gotta sort out on it. I almost think it's running on one cylinder, but I'm not sure. I'll have to do some tests. But I mean, it's getting spark on the one cylinder, which means it's getting spark. Whether, I just gotta run some tests on it, but I, th I feel like it's not running on two cylinders. It could be, but I just don't know for sure. Uh, but you know, this 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 great mower, 50 inch deck. You can tell right here. It's also gonna need a good wipe down, good clean up, but you know. It's well, I got it for free. I'm not gonna complain. I got it for free. I had to replace the transmission on it. So this is not the original transmission. But drives, runs, drives nice. Let's see if I can start it up here real quick. Runs nice, even if it is running on one cylinder. I don't think it is, but I want to do some tests to figure it out. So it's, it's due for an oil change. It just hit 250 hours, so it is due for an oil change. Which again, I can get. I'm gonna have to get to this week. Um, I know these lights are a little complimental. Other than that, it, it, this I, if I wanted to sell it, I could probably get seven on it. Minus a couple tears. It's over. It's 50 inch deck. So it's just a great mower. So, and then here's another one. This one's going for sale. My 12 horse Traxxas two. It's, I got a new car coming in for it. Um, and we're eventually ready to go. And I'll have to do some patchwork to see. But she's pretty much ready. Minus a couple cosmetic and a new carburetor so the run is nice um you know but this this mower here is going to be hopefully gone this week maybe gone today tonight um but uh it's overall Seasons, mowing season's coming in, the grass is starting to turn green. So, I gotta get some stuff going. And let me show you some of the back. So, at the back here, 
here's my 3000 that's my personal one here's another one that's going to be up for sale is this MTD yard machines yes I got another one but I got rid of the first one but um, this one no engine I have an engine we'll put in here um, I have to take off. I'll put that back on but frame is great no complaints with the frame very little rust anything any kind of rust is, is where the paint's coming off which you know take take a sander to it put some more red paint on it'll be fine Tire is a little bit weird on this this one. This one might need a little bit of work, but uh, you know, like I said, there's very there's literally like no rust. It's one of them shift on the go things, but uh, you know, there's that. And then two push mowers. I got two of them here. This one's pretty much ready. I have to fix something on it though. Oh yeah, the flap here it needs to be put back on. There's the bagger for it. A little bit of ice. And then underneath, this is the Lowe's. I can't really tell, but there's a Lowe's one. That's pretty much ready to go, minus a cable. Um, so I'll be bringing these with me to MCTI this week for work, so I can work on them there more. And now MCTI, you know, the Botech School. I'm taking the adult programs. And then underneath that is that piece of shit Craftsman RE2000 or some shit. The rear engine rider. There's another one back there, but I'm probably just going to part them out, sell them for parts. Um, motors on both of them seem fine. But, uh, you know, first patch of green grass. But, you know, I just wanted to make the video mainly on the Troy belt here. But, you know, it's going to might as well be an update on how I'm doing. Like I said, a lot of it's just loose ends. They tie up. This should be gone within the next week or so. Brand new PTO switch on it. PTO ignition was cleaned up. Um, some new relays and stuff. Other stuff it needs. Headlights I got to put back in. But uh, let me show you it under the hood. I know mowers and blowers, you just got one. You just posted a video on yours. Yours was a 12 horse, um, 12, 12 and a half horse Tecumseh. I've always had bad luck with Tecumseh motors. This is a 12 horse Briggs. One of the best motors I've ever had once you cleaned it up. Um, but you know, it's got, it's got carburetor issues, so I'm not going to mess with the carb anymore. It just, it just needs a new carb. So I got one ordered for like 19 bucks or so. We'll throw that on. Should stop leaking. That's why there's pans under there, but it's full of water now. But, you know, it's just a lot of loose ends I gotta tie up. Um, we'll clean that up. I gotta get some more uh, screws and stuff for the body panels here. Body panels need some more screws, you know, and a good wash. Well, our deck works great. It's like a 38 inch. So, you know, I can't complain. So thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video. Hopefully this thing will be sold.